Lined up for you is a roster of 15 innovative personal vehicles that bring tomorrow's technology into today. In addition, this video features several new vehicle designs you do not want to miss. There is something counterintuitive about cycling while flying above the water's surface, but hydrofoil cycling is a legitimate way to get around. French designer JetCycle has unveiled their JetCycle Max, part cycle-powered paddle boat, part hydrofoil. Rather than the often awkward process of getting a traditional hydrofoil going, the JetCycle Max offers a more laid-back approach. Riders can gently cycle their way to full speed before fluid physics takes over and they rise above the water's surface. JetCycle is 100% human-powered, so the maximum speed depends on how fast you can pedal. Although, to hydrofoil, you will have to maintain speeds of 5.6 miles per hour. The banyol is what happens when minimalism meets off-road adventuring. Built by French company Kilo, this pint-sized electric off-roader weighs under a thousand pounds, yet can carry two passengers plus up to 650 liters of cargo. It's thanks to a stripped-back steel chassis and a modest 15-kilowatt powertrain that can get riders to a top speed of 50 miles per hour over a maximum range of 140 miles. Charging the banyol takes just a few hours plugged into a standard electrical outlet. Vietnam's e-scooter market is booming and one of the byproducts of this trend is the Nano and Nano Plus. Part mini scooter, part chrome Tron cycle, this tiny stainless steel fashion statement is set to hit the streets in the not so distant future. Underneath the polished hood, the Nano Plus boasts a 4.2 kilowatt hour removable battery that can charge in just four hours. And a rear four kilowatt electric hub motor takes riders to a top speed of 43 miles per hour over a range of 60 miles. The whole unit, with battery included, tips the scales at 365 pounds, with a maximum weight rating slightly heavier than that. From the same company working on the Nano and Nano Plus, Vietnam's Bandit 9 have also developed the Supermarine, a sleek combination of skillful engineering and future tech. Built from aerospace-grade 7075 aluminum, the Supermarine features a 5-speed 900cc Triumph twin engine that puts out 74.1 bhp at 7500 rpm equaling a top speed of 125 miles an hour. All of this weighs a little under 420 pounds. Of course, Bandit 9 also offers upgrades, with the carbon fiber and 1200cc engine upgrades pushing the Supermarine into Superbike territories. The market for amphibious three-wheelers that can also hydrofoil is small, but do not tell that to Florida company Poseidon Amphiboworks, who is raising money towards building a prototype of their Trident LS1, an ambitious hybrid of land and sea travel. On land, the all-electric LS1 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 5 seconds, then drive straight into the ocean, converting into an electric boat. At a certain speed, the hydrofoils extend, lifting the Trident out of the water using the adjustable thrusters for navigation and reaching speeds up to 35 miles per hour.
Another e-craft dipping its rudder into the hydrofoil game is the Overboat from French company Neocean. Starting as a cross between a jet ski and a mini catamaran, the Overboat can take two passengers up to 20 knots while lifting on its three retractable hydrofoils. It's thanks to its 10 kilowatt electric propeller drive and 10 kilowatt hour battery pack that delivers around two hours of drive time before recharge. The battery takes around an hour and 45 minutes for a full charge. If you are looking for Nemo, I suggest you head underwater elsewhere because this all-electric Techno Marvel is a submarine. Designed by Dutch manufacturer U-Boat Works, the Nemo 1 and Nemo 2 were the first publicly available personal submarines on the market. Despite the almost million dollar price tag at the first launch, there was a lot of interest in the two models. Nemo 1 was the pilot only model, and Nemo 2 introduced room for passengers while submerging safely to depths of 330 feet. The all-electric drivetrain affords underwater speeds of up to three knots, and the onboard safety software automatically returns Nemo to the surface in an emergency. The H2 Sea Bubble, from the French manufacturer of the same name, looks like any of the other green sea taxis unveiled at the 2022 Cannes Yachting Festival. But it is hiding a secret down below, one that raises it high above its competition. Of course, I'm talking about the hydrofoils that allow this sleek 12-passenger pod to shoot high above the water's surface, reaching speeds up to 22 knots, or 25 miles per hour. The H2 gets its emissions-free power thanks to two 45-kilowatt motors, a hybrid system incorporating hydrogen fuel cells and a lithium-ion battery pack. According to the manufacturers, a recharge at a hydrogen gas station takes four minutes, suitable for around two and a half hours of flight time. Chinese manufacturer Xpeng recently completed a successful test flight of their first electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft demonstrating their capabilities at the GeeTex Global 2022 Tex Exhibition in Dubai. The X2 prototype featured a carbon fiber body and eight rotors mounted on four arms. Xpeng plans to release production models capable of a cruise speed of 81 miles per hour at an altitude of 3,281 feet for a total flight time of 35 minutes on a single battery charge. Other features include autonomous flight capability, radar ranging, obstacle avoidance systems, and an automatically deployed safety parachute. It's described as the luxury panic room on wheels, and it is not hard to see why. Built by Southern California group Resvani Motors, this rugged electric off-road fortress features everything you need for the apocalypse. While bulletproofing is an upgrade, the standard inclusions are enough to keep you safe. There's a 420 horsepower 6.2 liter V8 engine, 10-speed transmission, magnetic ride control suspension, a mechanical limited slip differential, and optional four-wheel drive. Inside, you can seat seven or eight passengers to wait out the end of the world in comfort and style. Thanks to onboard wireless charging, a 19-speaker AKG Studio sound system, a tri-zone climate control system, a live wide view rear view camera feed, and an augmented reality navigation system. The Pagani Utopia 
is an overindulgent piece of engineering that sounds as obnoxious as it drives, although that is not necessarily an insult. The overinflated specs mean the 6-liter V12 Monster costs an eye-watering $2 million and change. What does that get you? It buys you an 864-horsepower engine, putting out 635 kilowatts at 6,000 RPM, or 1,100 newton meters of torque. And the sound of that engine firing up cold? Enough to excite any petrol head. Part mall segue, part off-road quad bike. The 4x4 Gladiator by RoboSystems was a successful Indiegogo campaign that went from concept to creation earlier this year. It features a 60 volt, 40 amp hour battery, four motors rated from two to four kilowatts, a 4x4 drivetrain, independent suspension, and hydraulic brake calipers. Riders can enjoy a top speed of 30 miles per hour over a range of 65 miles, after which a full battery charge only takes four hours. Sit or stand, the Gladiator features an adjustable bike seat and interactive LCD. Wheelchair users are all too familiar with pre-planning their travel to ensure they are not left stuck in front of unsuitable terrain. But one Swedish company is determined to change that. The Zoom wheelchair allows less mobile individuals to explore the fun and adventure of outdoor and off-road trails. Featuring a four-wheel drivetrain, four three-phase hub motors, and dual 48-volt, 10-amp-hour batteries, the Zoom does what the brand name says, accelerating to a maximum speed of 12.6 miles per hour in under two seconds with a theoretical range of 25 miles. A full charge takes two to four hours, and the final product comes in various configurations based on how much upper and lower body mobility the user has. Italian manufacturer Moto Perea recently unveiled three versions of their electric e-bike, the Tricolore, in MX, MR, and M models. Besides the striking carbon fiber monocoque frame design, the Tricolor features an 880 watt hour, 36 volt battery and a 12 speed transmission. The Polini E P3 motor provides 90 Newton meters of torque and a 600 watt peak boosts the pedal assist to reach a top speed of 15.5 miles per hour and a range of over 62 miles. The EDAG CityBot may be just a concept for now, but this AI-powered look into the future might be hitting our streets sooner rather than later. Featuring object recognition and anti-collision software, the CityBot looks like the ultimate autonomous solution for the modern city. Designed with self-localization and trajectory planning on board with use cases, including automated garbage collection, delivery, and taxi services. While there are no specific details on the battery, powertrain, or release date, the company behind the CityBot has indicated the unit would feature independent wheel steering for precision parking and 90-degree turning. <laughs>